Hey friends, today we're taking a driving tour of the Mills 50 district, and I'm super excited to be sharing this with you. Why? Because this is where I actually grew up. That's right, I'm a born and raised local, and I can't wait to show you the area. So yes, this is a little bit longer of a video. However, you can speed it up double and it's still gonna come out pretty clear. I am only gonna be doing a little bit of talking for the most of this video. I mainly just wanna share this video with you to get a real world feel of what this area is truly like. So with that being said, we are just leaving the post office on Mills, headed towards Colonial, and I will stop talking and let you enjoy the video. So this is Northampton Avenue that we are about to turn onto, and I am going to take you through this neighborhood until we get to my elementary school, and then we're gonna turn back on Fern Creek. So I do want you to keep in mind that this is a much older area. This is, most of this area was built back in the 50s and 60s. So you're gonna see a lot of older homes. And over the years, developers have come in, bought up certain houses on certain streets and torn down what was there and rebuilt. Uh, thankfully, it hasn't gone too crazy. You can see the new construction right here on the left, but everything is still a very old feel to it which is nice. It's different than everything that's new construction.
So although this isn't called Front Creek Elementary anymore, this is the school that I went to as a child. And across the street, you are going to see the rec center that I've mentioned. The street that we are coming up to is Fern Creek. And from there, we're gonna turn right all the way up to Virginia. So another little fun fact that you might not realize just driving through on your own is Colonial and Virginia are parallel with each other and Mills and Northampton are parallel with each other, making it a perfect box that everything in between connects with one another. As I'll demonstrate right here, where we turn down another street, this is Spokane. And again, you can get a feel for the neighborhood. So as you can tell, we just did a big circle and have looped back onto ourselves. On our left-hand side is the rec center. Across the street is the elementary school again. We're gonna take a right on Fern Creek, heading back down towards Colonial.
So we have hit Colonial. We are turning right on Colonial, headed back to Mills. And then we're actually gonna get to the meat and potatoes of this, where you actually get to experience Mills. Okay, so I recorded this a little later in the afternoon. Traffic was a little bad. And as a local, I refuse to wait in traffic when I know the back roads. So this is in between the new modern restaurant and the old Sam Flax building. This is just a back road on Shine. Uh, you can see it's just a quick little cut through. Again, everything in this area connects to Mills, Hampton, Virginia, Colonial. So we are back on Mills. We've just moved over one block, no big deal. And you can still get a great sense of the area. On our right hand side, that brick building was uh, Lake Highland Preparatory School. So this bright pink building lets me know that we are coming up to Virginia right now. This is where the Vimy district comes from, Virginia and Mills. However, now, like I said, the rebranding, it is the Mills 50 district. So we are still headed into the direction of Lock Haven Park, and that's where we're gonna get to the Orlando Museum and do a YouTube.
So this is the Orlando Museum. We are gonna do a quick U-turn and go back down on Mills for a few feet and then cut back through a different neighborhood. So once again, we are on Virginia now and we are turning towards the end of what is considered the most 50 district and what turns into Lake Ivanhoe, which is another fun little area. Check out my video on that one as well. Quick fun fact, that is Dinky Line, great trail.
So this definitely is the end of what is considered the Mills 50 district. We are back on Colonial, headed towards Mills once again, and this is the last little bits before we go here. So there it is. We are reaching the Mills 50 intersection once again. I believe we've hit it every which way that we can. And with that being said, any of your Central Florida real estate needs, please contact me. Check out my website. Check out the rest of my YouTube channel, alexjamesrealtor.com. Alex James Realtor for all my handles. Thank you so much for joining me on this trip. It truly has been a pleasure going through memory lane and reliving all my childhood experiences here with you. So with that being said, have a good one, take care, and see you on the next one. And remember, 